So it's always a bit weird for me when it comes to explaining why choose film studies, because actually most people want to do film studies. They've wanted to do film studies since they were kids. They've wanted to do these things where you just get to analyze the kind of things you love. And yet they think they can't. They think that somehow it's not valid as an A-level or it's not gonna get them to where they want to be, which we know is ridiculous. In fact, most universities today are much more understanding than they've ever been in the past. I reached out to the heads of admissions at both Hertfordshire and Lancaster, Lancaster University, and I asked them, you know, how do you see film studies? And what they came back with was incredibly positive. In fact, they were willing to say that film studies is a, and let me quote this here, make sure I've got the right bit, uh, a, su a legitimate subject of study comparable to English literature. It's highly desirable to both the university and the workplace. Um, and in fact, they went on to emphasise the value of it beyond university as well. That the creative industry is the fastest growing sector of the UK economy and currently employ one in seven people in the southeast of England. Film is great for future employment because it shows you have a really good eye for visual medium. It also shows that you have the skills to analyse anything, whether it's an actual piece of film or a scene or a whole movie or a script onto itself. You can actually take it apart and find the component parts and figure out what's wor what works. These are skills that are critical, absolutely critical for an employer, and they will really be interested in seeing that. A lot of our studies at the start of the course will be focused on actually understanding how films create meaning. We'll be looking at micro features like the way that editing, sound, camera angles or lighting can have a huge effect. It can be something as simple as perhaps changing the colour palette, a filter or a tone to what you're seeing there. Maybe something more major like, you know, changing a camera angle. It's amazing how much of a difference a change your angle can have, from a comfortable shot to something that feels a little bit more isolated or disturbed or perhaps showing off some of the things in our office. It's funny how much the mise-en-scene, the setting, the overall layout of a shot can change its composition. So changing camera angles can be just as big as anything else. And we look at what it means, perhaps, to make films, to put them together in a way that makes sense, and to think about what it is that directors choose to do to get their meaning across. Personally, I'm someone who struggles with choosing or making a decision on what A-levels and GCSEs I made. And so I have a teacher who taught me last year and he made a suggestion that you do two subjects that you really are like looking to take forward and one that you enjoy. And so personally, film studies is the one I enjoy because I've obviously I've watched films when I was younger as well. It's brilliant to be able to explore um, how films have developed over time, how our engagement with films have developed over time as well. Um, as we're currently considering the um, role of Orson Welles as an auteur, it's really interesting to consider his role um, during the 40s looking at films and compare that to someone like Spielberg now. I'm really looking forward to filming my own film. That's definitely going to be really exciting. Uh, I'm currently looking forward to the editing of videos because personally I use social media quite a lot and so that skill of editing videos and putting videos together will become quite helpful in the future. One of the parts that our film study students tend to love is the actual production, the creative element of the course. You find yourself setting up your lighting, thinking about how you're going to present things, making sure you've got the perfect shots and it comes from you taking that moment. When you turn around and you have actual look at what you can create, You've got the ability to make magic. You've got the ability to make something that's personal to you. And just with the snap of the fingers, you suddenly find yourself in a whole different location. We get a lot of fun from that. We get to actually create things, we share things. From the word go, you're going to be making short videos and making the most of those skills. Lots of you have already done some of this, but if you haven't, if you haven't had that joy of making a video for the first time, actually going through it as a class, experiencing it, we can have a lot of fun with actually getting involved in that creative element of the course. On top of that, of course, we have to appreciate the films that have already been made. And we do watch a lot of films on this course, and it is really quite enjoyable. So as you can see appearing behind me now, there are dozens of them. Um, we do tend to watch a few more films alongside those that are already on the course required, because we want to make sure we have a good understanding of the directors and the genres and everything else that goes into making films successful. You will find that in a lot of your lessons you are watching films, and we do tend to watch them as a group and enjoy them together. It doesn't seem like studying, but you're still getting a whole lot from it. And on top of all this, we get great results. We get students who love the subject, who come in and give their all, because they care about it. If you've ever been told that you should pick subjects you enjoy because you're going to do better at them, then this is that subject. This is the one where you know you are going to work harder and you are going to succeed because it's something you like. Um, is there anything about the course you're really looking forward to? Yeah, I was looking forward to watching films, so we're doing that already, so yeah. I'm at the best work.